I want to let you in on a secret. The Bible makes me angry. No, seriously, I mean it. There are so many stories in there that make me angry at a God who would do that or at the people as his representatives who would say that or do that. And it makes me angry. And if I'm not angry at the stories themselves, then I'm angry that the way we as Christians, and I include myself in that, have taken those words and used them. Words that are supposed to come direct from God, from a loving father who shows us so much grace and mercy that he was willing to allow his only son to die in our place and we use those words to beat each other up or to beat up the people out there who don't know yet or worse still to beat ourselves up to try and force and cram and squeeze ourselves into these molds of perfection do not fit anymore, if they ever did at all. But I'm still angry at the words themselves. I'm angry at the stories of destruction. I'm angry at verses that promise things that I, in my Western, safe, secure, affluent world, do get to see the fulfilment of. But I know that others around the world and right here in my town do not get to see. And I read words like, I was young and now I am old. And I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. And I think, really? Really, God? Not in migration camps or refugee camps, not in Africa or Haiti or Libya, not in the inner cities of our huge western towns. Really? Never? And I understand that we have this extremely affluent western view of who God is and what he does and we read these words through those eyes. But even understanding that, it still makes me angry. And yet, here's the thing. I know that I know that I know that there are more to these words than the way they have been interpreted by Western ears. And I know that I know that I know that there is more to this God than the way he has been represented to us. And I know that I know that I know that he still loves me and he wants me to have a relationship with him and he wants me to read these words not angry not bitter but through the filter of that love and I long to read these words his words his love letter to his people to me So I opened my Bible, but every place I could think of beginning again left me coming up empty and angry. So I decided to go back to a passage I know well, to a passage that was my life verse for a number of years. I decided to read it again and again and again, to let it sink in to read it as many times as I need to, in as many translations as I need to, to remember the tender way the Father spoke those words to me all those years ago, to get back to that heart relationship that gets past all that stuff that is making me angry, that renews my heart and opens it again to the word of God. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service is over, that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. 
if you find yourself in a similar place to me, that might not be the passage that works for you. But I urge you to find one that does. It might be one that you know well. Even that you know by heart. It might be one that meant a lot to you in the past. It might be one that's new to you. It might be just one single verse. Or it might be a whole chapter or even more. Whatever it is, find it. Read it again and again. Until you find that space in your heart to open the door to more.